All right, boys, welcome back to the next segment of the March Sadness Bracketology. Today is Disney Movies Edition. We're going to have four regions again, the Princess Region, the Pixar Region, the Classics 1, and Classics 2 Region. First off, we're going to start off with the Princesses. Will, this is like your, probably your favorite one, I'd assume, so I'm going to start with you. This 1 versus 8 matchup with Little Mermaid versus Cinderella. What do you think on this matchup? Uh, to be honest, I haven't seen either of these movies, so don't really know, to, know where to go from there. <sighs> Who'd you pick? Uh, I, I don't really have any picks in this bracket. So move on. Let's get move on. So you just got to move on going to the final four like nothing else? Yep. All right. <laughs> Leave Will out of the rest. Okay, Will, we're not going to talk to you for the rest of the. No, this. but I'm going to pick the final four for Will. I have what happens. I told you it was the beginning. I mean, I don't know what you'll expect. Okay, Chris, what about you? I expected you to watch them in these 15 minutes since you told us that. Chris, what about you? Little Mermaid and who? It's Little Mary and Cinderella in the one versus eight matchup. So, Little Mary and Cinderella, both classics and princess movies. So, like, the prettier one is obviously Little Mermaid, which is a factor. It is a big factor. However, Cinderella is still... Tale as old as time. I mean, it's just it, part of Disney World. It has the cat. Going to have to go to Cinderella. All right. Sam, Alan, what about you guys yeah, on this one? I took Little Mermaid. You know, stay loyal to my redhead girls. You know, you know how I feel. Um, I, I do I, feel that. I do feel that. I, I enjoy the music in Little Mermaid. There is no music in Cinderella. Uh, and who wears hey, black slippers? They go to a ball, and the godmother freaking goes off. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, went, I went Cinderella on this one. I mean, it was a pretty obvious choice here. You know, you know what? Chase. Cinderella. Uh, I mean, no, no, no. I'm with Helen. Little Mermaid. Baby. Taylor's oldest time, man. Come on. Little Mermaid got So that means, that means Will has to pick. Yeah, Will, you got to break this tie. Well, obviously, Little Mermaid because the music. I mean, come on. Little Mermaid's music is really good. Under the Sea. No, that's, that's true. That is true. I'll give you that one. But la, 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 la. Cinderella's also, the OG, bro. Villain empowerment. <laughs> Cinderella's the OG, though. The castle's literally in Disney World. Like, she is the beacon. All right, bro. Little Mermaid right, bro. is a better movie. Trace your role. Trace your role. Uh, uh, uh. We're not role. talking about classic here. We're talking about which one's the better movie. <laughs> Little Mermaid is the better movie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next up, we have the 2-7 and seven matchup with Aladdin and Tangled. All right, so, Sam, what about you on this one? Um, I chose uh, Tangled here. Uh, I feel like it might be for Ing with a lot of y'all. Uh, I wasn't a big fan of Aladdin. I don't know. Magic Carpet, not my vibe. Tangled, uh, Tangled's pretty decent, I guess. It's just Tangled. All right, Alan, what about you on this one? Uh, I've only seen each of them once. I just went with Aladdin. Not a big Tangled fan, but neither am I a big Aladdin fan. Uh, so yeah. All right, Chris. Tangled definitely has. Some good movies, newer movie. Over. Aladdin did have the Williams. So, gonna have saying. to go with that one. Has more comedy. Even though Tangle is very funny. Yeah. I went with Aladdin too yes, on this one. I actually, actually have seen both of these movies, and it's an easy choice for me, Aladdin. Strict because of Robin Williams. I mean, it's right. Can't beat I mean, it shouldn't really even be a competition. Aladdin is better than Tangle. I mean, Tangle's good, but kind of overhyped, in my opinion. Not gonna lie. But uh, same thing yeah, my Arabic roots. Right. I'm not a big fan either. I, I do like me some Tangled. It's fine. I mean, you know, no, no problem. It's just kind of overrated, you know? Hey, yeah. also, Corona, though. Yeah, get out. Don't talk about He's recording, so we have to keep him on here. But anyway. Oh, I saw that on TikTok. That was so funny. Next one, Chase. Keep All right. coming. Next one, we got the four and five matchup with Beauty and the Beast and Snow White. Will, do you have anything on this one? Snow White has good music. That's all I know. It's about it. It's, uh, it's true. I know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. One of the best Disney songs ever. All right, it's pretty good. Except for the one in Mulan. <laughs> you look like a dwarf, too, uh, so... I mean... I... 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 I, I pick... I, I pick Snow White because I like the dwarfs. Mike so, Will... Like Will, like the dwarfs will. Yeah, I enjoy, I enjoy the dwarfs. Chris, you look upset. Please tell me you picked Beauty and the Beast. 
No. Be, I was upset about your reasoning because y'all are y'all are y'all are crazy. But Beauty and the Beast was just never my favorite movie. Just my opinion right there. Snow White was a very very good movie, and the first one ever made. So gonna have to give it to Snow White. Chase, you got any opinions? Uh, I, stay behind? I went with Snow White on this one. I mean, both movies are good. I like them both, but uh. The music in Snow White's really good. The dwarves kind of make the movie like push over the top of Beauty and the Beast, in my opinion. Okay, uh, I chose Beauty and the Beast on this one. Oh my god! Um, uh, confession: I haven't seen either of these. Uh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> uh, I know all right, stop so talking. Get out. Yeah, get out. Beauty and the Beast has good songs. <laughs> Being our guest, plus the title song Beauty and the Beast. That's a that's a good song. Or Tales of Time, whatever it's called. Uh, all right, so solid. our next up we have the three versus six. Get cultured. All right, so this this last one, we should all have the same answer. It's Mulan. Will say it with me. It's Mulan. 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 It's no debate Mulan. about it. Mulan. 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 There's, there's no debate about this one. Lady Beauty is the worst story. One of the best Disney movies ever. It took Mulan. Final pick. Mulan versus what? What's the other one? It doesn't matter. Beauty. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I vote Mulan Sleeping is... Beauty solely to make Will mad. Solely, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? to make Will mad. Okay, you cannot say you, can, you cannot pick Aladdin because it has Robin Williams and not forget about New Shoe and the Lawn Bro. Listen, listen. A better I love team. Eddie Murphy as much as the next guy, but I want Will to be upset, so that's what I'm gonna do. Oh my God! It's massive Move cap. Along. Move along. All right. So next up in this, we got the. Uh, well, I guess mine is Cinderella versus Snow White in that matchup. I mean, I think we all had that one. So, yeah, I have uh, Little Mermaid. Mermaid. Oh, I wow. have Little Mermaid, Snow White. It doesn't matter, though. Little Mermaid going to my semifinal. Absolutely. Wow. Me too, Alan. Me too, Alan. Uh, Snow White going to mine. Little Mermaid, good. Chris, what do you have on this That's one? A shame. They put Little Mermaid won that matchup. Little three, Mermaid. Three to three or two. But Chris, don't you do think Cinderella and Snow White? Yeah, your personal bracket. What? Your personal bracket. Would you have Cinderella and Snow White? Yeah, Cinderella and Snow White. Yeah. Yeah, so, I think so. So what'd you go with like in your matchups? I don't have it written down. Chris, you suck at this. Chris, oh my god. <laughs> Just choose one. The choose point one. was to fill it out beforehand and then be ready to go when we started this. I'm doing it. I'm doing it by ear. Right here. Okay. I'm just here like pumping in. Terrible okay, strategy. That's fine. That's fine. He, he's just an expert here. That's okay. right. Resident expert. Okay. All right. Well, all right. So the next one we have, it will be, in mine, it's Mulan and Aladdin. I don't know. Did you guys have all that too? Mulan, Aladdin. Christian, I have Mulan because he's terrible at this. I have Mulan and Tango, yeah. but I chose Mulan. Yes. Yeah, say Rudy. Mulan. 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 The song Mulan. All right, now let's just get this yeah, over with. Is Mulan, is Mulan all going to the final four for us? Let's just be real. No, I have Little Mermaid final four. Baby. Oh, I my can God. Respect that. I, can, I can respect that, but I just enjoy Mulan better. Mulan is such a good They're movie. They're both very good movies. What is Ryu movies. and Mulan? Hmm? Me? Like, it's a great movie, but they ruined it for me with this live action new movie. Like, this isn't about the live action. It's about... Can't movie. handle it. It's about the one yeah, we right. grew up on. Exactly. Yeah. Sounds Chris, out of all the Disney movies, who would you choose as the best one? Out of Usher, defeating the Hans. Hmm. Out of what? Out of all these, out of uh, all the princess, out of all these princess movies. <laughs> Moana, could you freaking then put it in there? So Moana was in the first four after just missed the cut. Yeah, I know. Um, Little Little Mermaid. Mermaid's a pretty solid movie. Mean. Really is. That's fair. That's fair. I don't know about that, but mine, I gotta move along to the final four. But anyway, let's move on to the uh, Classics 1 bracket. So, the 1 versus 8 matchup, which this is a travesty that the 8 seed was Lion King. It was an absolute travesty. Um, it really is. So, anyway, I think I'm at least gonna go ahead and say it. Lion King's going on in this Lion ring. King. No, de- no debate Lion about King. it. Lion King over Dumbo. It's not even a. There's not no- even a. 
Not even there, a question. There is no question there. Hey, give some respect to Dumbo, though. It was a pretty good movie. It's just it got a bad matchup. Okay, sure. as as of general rule, all of these movies were pretty good movies. That is true. None of them are bad. All right. Except the lot. Maybe it's some beauty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then we got what we we got one in one hundred one Dalmatians and Lady in the Tramp. Lady in the Tramp. One hundred one Dalmatians. Scene, spaghetti scene. Uh, spaghetti itself. Uh, Lady in the Tramp. Dude. Big news for that out. Kathleen says Lady in the Tramp. Gotta gotta trust her. I'm going one hundred one Dalmatians, man. I mean, oh. I mean, it's just I don't know. I watched it a lot when I was younger, so I kind of have a little bit of an attachment to it. Okay, so. it's Cruella Deville, man. Cruella Deville, she's. She's something else. Got a good song. She though, smoked not. in a children's movie. Okay. And? <laughs> Straight up smoked. You can't lie. Her song is actually pretty good. Her villain song is actually pretty good. The <laughs> good is the, the Cruella de Vil, Her car. Oh my gosh. Her car, yeah. That is kind of funny. It's kind of sick, but it does not beat Lady in the Tramp. I like the scene where they uh, impersonate labs because I'm a big labs guy, so it kind of, you know. It was nice for me, but anyway, Will, you have anything on this one? Uh, yeah, I haven't seen any Lady in the Tramps, 101 Dalmatians. There we go. I didn't grow up on it. A man of culture. All right, so next up, we had the four and five matchup with Aristocats and Fox and the Hound. Um, I'm not a big Cats person, but at the same time, Fox and the Hound was a pretty sad movie. So I'm with Aristocats on this one just because it's more lighthearted and happy, you know. So what about you guys? I've never seen either, but the wow. aristocrat, the aristocrat sounds better. Wow! Uh, once again, I, my mom told me to put aristocrats, so I went with it, and I agree that one does sound a little cooler. All right, you know, resident, whatever your name is, Chris, what'd you go with on this one? Aristocats was a great movie about the three kittens. Loved it. However, I can never remember their names, which makes me upset. So, went with Fox and the Hound because it's actually a really, really about how they become friends. The ending is so sad in that movie. Like, it is very sad. Yeah. However, that's what makes a good movie a good movie. You remember the ending. All right, Will. What I will be you? having a point. If anyone of you tell me how Aristocat ended, I've never seen either one. Yes, yeah, same. They all got back home. They all got back home. They got lost. They got back home. But all right, last first round matchup. We got Robin Hood and Bambi. It's simple. Robin Hood. Robin, Robin Hood. Hood. Yeah. Uh, I love deer hunting. I chose Bambi. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> you, you can't say that because they shot Bambi's dad. You can't. You can't say that. I thought it was his mom. Yeah, they issue was. I never said they shot the dad. They shot his dad. Bro, what if they did a live-action Bambi? <laughs> Bro, just go to my camp. That's all it is. He's got me at the Jason Jason. I like his live-action Bambi every day. That's why he picked it. No, no, I picked Robin Hood. I'm a big deer hunter, but Robin Hood's a better movie. Yes, Robin Hood. Robin Hood is good. Robin Hood's Bye. a really good story. Uh, Both good movies. All right, so yeah. at the top of this bracket, we have Aristocats and Lion King. I think in most of our brackets, again... I think it's pretty simple here for me. Lion King's going to move on to the regional final. Lion King. Lion King. Lion, Lion King. King will be kittens all day. Absolutely. All right, so down here in the bottom, I have Robin Hood and 101 Dalmatians. And personally, I went with the Dalmatians again. I'm a big dogs person. I like the Robin Hood movie, but, you know, the dogs, I'm a really big dogs guy. Push over the top. See, I have the same thing as you, Chase, but I went Robin Hood. Like, Robin Hood, it was just like, that's the nostalgic movie for me. When I was really young, that's like the only movie I watched. Good movie. It's an underrated um, movie. <laughs> I had Robin Hood, Lady in the Tramp, and uh, oh, it was Robin Hood. Joy. I enjoyed the stealing from the giving idea. So, you know, it's good with me. I had Bambi and Lady in the Tramp. I said Lady in the Tramp. Ooh, I respect, I I respect the effort. All right. This side kind of weak. I got I got Robin Hood and Lady and the Tramp. Robin Hood is gonna have to take it because it is more exciting to me. All right, so in my regional final, I have Lion King and the Dalmatians. I mean, again, Lion King. It's just it's the best movie in this region. How is an eight seed? It was an absolute travesty and a, one of the great wonders of the world. But uh, Lion King's going to the final four with me. 
Does anyone not have Lion, uh, Lion King going to the Final Four? No, but I got Lion King or Robin Hood, and that's a tough choice. It is, it is. No, but here's the thing. Robin Hood was cool, and that man's a good archer, but like, there's very, like, it's dry. Like, there's not much humor. It's just the story. I mean, there's a little bit, but, like, Lion King... Did you even watch? Did you even watch Robin Hood? Yes, I did. I guess okay. Every single song in Lion King is memorable. That is true. Every mm-hmm. single song. Name any other movie on this entire bracket where you can tell me every song. Run into existence one. Let's fly. Okay. Any, any other music? <laughs> I have to cut that off. <laughs> Sam, you can tell me every song in Lion King? Yes. I don't think so. Do it, do it right now, right now. Just can't wait to be king. Uh, that evil song. Uh, Akuna Matata. Uh, and you feel the love tonight. And that's you probably forgot it. the one that Timon and Pumbaa sang about eating them. To the hyenas. Oh, okay. That's right. Then. That's right. Point proven. Chris, Chris, name one album that you can name every song off of. Like, name one Grammy Award winning album of the year that you every song off of. The album that has I thought, won a Grammy. I, I, that's what I thought. Okay. I'm not the musical genius here. That's Sam. Lion King? No, Lion King takes the cake. It's it's Final Four bound. Robin Hood takes the cake. All right, you're just playing devil's advocate. We gotta move on to Pixar, or else I'm gonna get heated. The, the Pixar one. This is a tough region for me because we all. I think we all grew up on Pixar. Cause we all, you know, is our era. Most definitely. Yeah. So the one versus eight matchup, really intriguing, was Ratatouille and Cars. Cars being the eight seed. I got the eight seed winning this one, guys. Cars is one of my absolute favorite movies. The franchise is fantastic. Mater does not care about anybody except himself. Always in his bag. What a great guy. I love him to death. So Cars moving on. I'm agreeing with you. Sir. Yeah, that's an easy pick for me. Cars for sure. Oh, oh I have Ratatouille. Yeah, I have Ratatouille. It's so much better. Car- yeah. Cars, you know, good movie. Ratatouille. Ratatouille is just, I don't know. It's fun to Hey, man. A rat that kicks so cool to me. The hair? I, I thought it was so creative. I loved Ratatouille. Here's the thing. Cars 1 in itself probably beats Ratatouille. But if we're looking at franchise as a whole, Cars 2 and 3 is some hot garbage. I'll explain that right now. I'll be the first to tell you. That franchise overall is some garbage. The first one, fantastic. You know, he pushes the guy through the finish line, and he still gets off at the dining car spot, but he stays with Rusty's. You can't write anything better. But Ratatouille, man, you know, it turns out it's Gusto's son, and Gusto went on corporate, but this dude was like, nah, we ain't going to corporate. We stay here. You know, that man stuck it to the, like, little French dude. I respect it, 100%. And the rats, like, Cooked the meal at the end, like all the rats through the health inspector in the fridge. That's funny. All right, Will, what about you on this one? <laughs> what a weird sound like yeah, for sure. I mean, I can see, like, the Cars franchise just, just goes downhill after the first one. The second one wasn't terrible. I could still watch it. And, uh, yeah, third one, not so much, but I, I'd still go with Cars and Reddit to you. Just don't know. All right, so next up we got the two and seven matchup with Toy Story and Incredibles. This is an incredibly intriguing matchup. See what I did there with the Incredibles, haha. But uh, anyway, I went with Toy Story on this one. <laughs> I went with Toy Story on this one. I mean, both are pretty fantastic. The Toy Story franchise, though, is I think unmatched in the Pixar in the Pixar world. I mean, it's consistently good in my opinion. So the franchise itself pushed it over the top for me on this one. Uh, I agree, Chase. I have Toy. I mean, every Toy Story movie that you can just watch and enjoy. Uh, all four of them, really. Uh, so I, I chose Toy Story. Uh, this is probably the deepest region of the bracket, I would think. I, would uh, I can look at like all these movies and franchises and you know congratulate them. And I, I don't have one that I think stands out as being the worst at all. Uh, whereas in all the other regions, I don't know if I can say that. Uh, well, so Incredibles, but I chose Toy Story. I had to go with the crap part. Uh, I just enjoy them better, and I'm going to tell you right now, I don't enjoy Toy Story 2. I think it's awful, and that the Al, the dude that owns Al's Toy Barn, he scares me. Like, he straight up freaks me out. And so, Toy Story 4, those dolls, freaky. I like the last movie that I paid for. Hang on, what about the plush rush, though? 
All right, that was kind of funny. No, but no one's anything to Alan because we're just gonna get mad at him for that. Toy Story, listen, listen. No, no. Toy Story Four was the last money, not money, was the last movie that I spent like full ticket price on instead of five dollar Tuesdays. And honestly, I gotta go see another movie to say that I spent money on it. Like, kind of, it was kind of underwhelming. I'm not even gonna lie. I did not like the ending of Toy Story Four. I feel like it undid everything yeah. that the franchise did. I'm gonna get to that this point. I'm gonna get to that later, but uh, I got some opinions on that one. But anyway. Let's move on. We got the uh, three and six matchup here with Monsters, Inc. and Up. And I went with Monsters, Inc. here. I think it's a pretty easy choice, you know. Up is a really good movie, in my opinion. But, uh, you know, just Monsters, Inc. just got, like, a more lighthearted feel to it. It's more of, like, it's not as sad as Up is at the very end, uh, certain parts of Up. So, Monsters, Inc. with a more okay, lighthearted I got a question. So. I got a question. Why are you always going for just the lighthearted feel? Because I'm a lighthearted guy. That's not what a movie, though. It's a good movie. Is Monsters, it, Inc. is a better enjoy, movie than Up. Here's the thing. I enjoy the artwork in Monsters, Inc. better. I just don't enjoy the big nature scapes in Up. Uh, like, it's just, like, some stuff that, like, I just don't like looking at. And it's those big, those big nature scapes that, are, like, people are impressed by. I'm not impressed by. And they try to make Doug funny. And, like, Squirrel is not funny. Okay, well, so, I'm, gonna, I chose, I'm sorry, because Monsters, Inc. in this matchup. Uh, I mean, Up is, like, overall a really good movie, but, like, Monsters, Inc., it has, like, some really good parts and some not so good parts. Like, the whole plot line where it's, like, you need screams for energy and it's, like, they're running low. I'm like, what? Okay, no. But, like, it, as a, a whole, Monsters, Inc. is just a better movie. I'm going to have to agree with them here. Up. Oh. Up was my pick on this one. Up will make you cry. It will make you laugh. You get a world of right. emotions from it's Up. It's got talking dog. That is Plus, there he is. That talking dog was so trash. It's got all the culture. One, Alan. They're all trash. I'm sorry. All right, so we got the final first round matchup in this. We got Wally and Finding Nemo. I think. You know, I love both these movies, but personally, I grew up watching Nemo a lot more, enjoying Nemo a lot more. Just, I really don't know why, honestly. I mean, I enjoy Wally a lot. Just for some reason, Nemo just sticks out to me in this one. Uh, you know, I'm with you. Uh, Wally, maybe if I watched him more, maybe it might be ahead of Finding Nemo. But I chose Finding Nemo also. I remember watching Finding Nemo in class uh, whenever we would have free time. The teacher would always put on Finding Nemo. It was just a great time. Uh, I chose Finding Nemo, but Wally's not a bad movie at all. I'm going uh, to make some people mad with this, but uh, as a child, I was scared of the movie Finding Nemo. The it was, sharks, was quite scary. The sharks freaked me out, and so I didn't really watch it that much growing up, and I didn't like that. Uh, Wally was pretty cool then. I liked Wally. Yeah, Did you pick uh, Wally? Yeah, I picked uh, Wally. I'm not going to pick the movie I was scared of. Yeah, this is a really easy pick for me. I mean, Nemo, great movie, but like, Wally is easily the best movie on this bracket. Wally. Not a doubt in my mind. What Wally happened to Milan? Here. Okay, well, that's a good bit, but Wally just bad. I agree with you, though. Wally's a very good movie. Finding Nemo is a great movie. However, I started watching Wally later, so I remember it a lot, and I like it a lot. I think mine's the opposite. I, I watched Wally a lot earlier, and I, I don't remember a lot about Wally. Yeah. All right. So in the top half Very of my bracket, general. top half of my bracket, I have Cars and Nemo. So um, with this one, again, I went with Cars. I mean, that first movie with Cars is just so fantastic. I mean, Doc Hudson, iconic. You know, legacy lives on forever. You always see it throughout the franchise. So Cars is gonna go to the regional final for me over Nemo. Ah, that's where you're wrong. I got Ratatouille going to the regional final for me. Uh, Ratatouille over Wally. You know, that's just something I watched in my. I watched Ratatouille with my parents a lot. I don't know. Like on a Friday night, get some pizza, coming home from my kindergarten and watching Ratatouille. Solid, bro. It's a solid option. I will uh, say it again. Okay. Wally is the best movie on the bracket. Cannot be beat by any other movie. I will on this one. Wally, Wally wins it for me on that side. I think I need to rewatch Wally. Uh, I, I put Finding you Nemo do. for Ratatouille. It was close for me. I think I put Ratatouille and erased it. Uh, All right. But I think, you know. So in the bottom half of mine, I have Good. Monsters, Inc. and Toy Story. 
you know, pretty tough matchup here. But then again, Toy Story, I think, is probably the best overall Pixar franchise like movie they've ever made, just as a franchise as a whole. So Toy Story is going to move on from Monsters, Inc., even though Monsters, Inc. is one of my favorite movies ever. Here's the thing. You're talking about the franchise of Toy Story, but you forget the franchise of Monsters, Inc. And Monsters University, Monsters University is good. It is a, is a nope. good movie. Yeah. It is, it is. Culturally, culturally, it has cool merch that I'd be like, I would wear that because like, I wouldn't wear like, half this stuff. But like, a Monsters University hat, I'd wear that, bro. Like, and it's just got, I enjoy the, the art style used in the animation of Monsters, Inc. and Monsters University, and that's why it's going on to the regional final. Uh, uh, I have Up with a story, and I chose Up. Uh, Twig story. Well, I think Up is just, I think, I think Up is a masterpiece. Uh, Toy Story has its flaws. I don't see as many flaws in Up as I do in Toy Story. All right. Well, what about you on this one? I know you got Wally going in your final four, but just in this match. Oh, yeah, but, um, yeah, I got Monsters, Inc. here. Just like, I mean, both those movies are really good. I can sit there and watch those on repeat all day. But, like, I can't do that with the Toy Story series. Like, there's there's so many, it's like missing pieces. Like, Toy Story 2 is just not good. Thank you. Thank you. Chris, what about you on this one? Uh, I chose Up along with along with Sam. Up is just really did it for me. All right, so in my regional final, I have Cars and Toy Story, probably two of the most iconic franchises overall in Pixar history. But Toy Story, that fourth movie, is just consistently good. You know, it's consistently good throughout every single movie. I know you guys hate Toy Story too, but for some like I like it. I don't know what you guys think about it. Why you think it's bad? But anyway. Toy Story overall, more yeah, consistently good. Yeah, I can respect that pick. Toy Story has been able to like draw an audience from multiple generations. Like, it's true. Like, the first Toy Story movie came out so long ago, and it brought all of us in. And then the fourth one came out, like, just recently, and it's still bringing everybody to the theater. But I did not have them there. I have uh, Wally and Monsters, Inc. I mean, and you can't beat Wally. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing. I had Ratatouille in Monsters, Inc., and I know I said I got some good memories of Ratatouille, but I just respect Monsters, Inc. too much, you know? I just think it's too too good. They, it's the only one that can do a franchise with two movies, and it's perfect. Wow. Seal it off, complete, shut. I got I got Monsters, Inc. here. All right, Sam, what about you? Uh, I have Up and Finding Nemo, and yeah, I, I chose Up, and I, I am really glad that Up did not try to make a, a huge like franchise out of it. Uh, I think the one movie was enough. You know, I think a lot of people get a little creepy with their money. A lot of times uh, Pixar will and they'll, they'll see, oh, this movie was a success. Let's just make another one. But up, you know, it's a good standalone. It by itself is just it's what it needs. Uh, I have up going and I, I think it really helps that there's nothing to bring it down. Like a, a sequel or something. I guess that, was, that was funny. Oh, yeah. So I had I had up versus Wally, which is probably the toughest matchup because they both are very real movies. Wally is kind of a is a home. Got to got to go with Wally. Stick with Will. All right. So now we're gonna move on to our final region here. We got the Classics Two region, the one versus eight matchup here. Jungle Book and Frozen, guys. I want to hear your opinions on this one. This should be a pretty Pretty good debate, I think. Sorry, but Frozen just is a lot better. Jungle Book is too old for its time. Wasn't done to perfection, although it did have some great music. Bear Necessities? That's a lot Bear Necessities slaps. So I mean, still, yes. Still some classic like, soundtrack. This is just like new school versus old school. And I'm going with Jungle Book here. I like, I like the old school movies a lot better than the newer ones. And Jungle Book, like, all the older songs are just so much better than the newer ones to me. That's why I got Jungle Book here. My first thing is... Oh, I'm sorry, Alan, you can go first. Sam, you got it. Okay. Um, me, you take out your necessities out of Jungle Book, and there's not much left, in my opinion. So, so oh, it's frozen. Uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say. All right, Alan. Well, while I can respect Frozen a little bit, I just got tired of hearing Let It Go when I was in middle school. I was saying. And I 
so much merchandising. They're so greedy over there. Whoever's making Frozen, like I respect it. I think I think you know if you get something that you know can make money with the little kids, do it. But I'm just not here for it. I don't even I didn't even want to go see Frozen two. You know, some people are like it's. Sick. I'm gonna have to go with the Jungle Book here. I'll say I did so, see Frozen two. I'm a fan. They tried to do too much. Yeah, so for me on this one, uh, I went with Jungle Book. I mean, personally, I'm not a very big Frozen fan. Like, I watched the first one. Like, the music's fine, but at the same time, it's kind of like, it's overhyped a little bit. But Jungle Book, I remember sitting in a long car ride on long car trips. Jungle Book was always the first movie I've ever put on. It's always the first one I put on the DVD player on a long car trip. So, a little bit of attachment there for me. Jungle Book's going to move on this one. All right, so down here in the bottom, we got Peter Pan and Hercules in the 2 and 7 matchup. And uh, I personally went with uh, Peter Pan on this one. Kind of same thing with the uh, Jungle Book. A long car ride, this movie's going to kind of slap. Peter Pan. Hercules, very underrated movie. I like it a lot, but Peter Pan overall, just one of the best classical Disney movies you can find. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with you on that one. It's a tough choice, though. But, like, Peter Pan is just you know, like classic Pixar. That's, like, the go-to movie for me. That and Pinocchio. So I got Pinocchio. Hey. Well, this is probably one of the tougher choices on this on this whole roster right here. So Hercules is gonna have to take it because those uh, singing the five singing women just really who they give you a good mindset for that whole movie. And it's, it's just a good movie. Uh, I took Hercules as well. Uh, the music in Hercules is so good. Uh, and there's the singers are good too. Uh, Peter Pan to me, this might be a home. Popular opinion. I wasn't a fan of the storyline. Peter Pan for some reason. Uh, it just kind of annoyed me a little bit. <laughs> I chose I chose Hercules. Well, I'm gonna have to say, I've never seen Hercules. Seems like a good story. And while the book is trash, <laughs> the Peter Pan movie, like Chase said, always gonna slap. You know, TikTok Croc can't beat it. Captain Hook, oh, yes sir, yes can't sir. Beat it. Neverland, never leave it. I'm going Peter Pan. All right, so next up we have the four and five matchup. We got Lilo and Stitch and Emperor's New Groove. This one was tough because I really love both movies. Both are really funny. Good storylines in both of them. But overall, the slight edge goes to Lilo and Stitch because Stitch was my favorite Disney character whenever I was a little kid. You know what I mean? Like he just, a certain attachment to him. Like I had my Halo on. I had like a little magnet Stitch like hung onto the little, you know, bar my Halo. Always there by my side. Good buddy. Lee Love and Stitch, moving on for me. Anyone gonna try to be honest? Haven't haven't been here in these movies. But uh, you know, you can't can't go get Stitch, Victor. Yeah. I chose Lee Love and Stitch. Lee Love and Stitch is really good. She got me in the feels, you know. You know, this was a tough matchup for me. This was a really tough matchup for me. I do enjoy Billy Lilo and Stitch, but at the same time, I just enjoy The Emperor's New Groove, you know, they made a, t- made a TV show out of it, maybe another one, I think, maybe another movie, Now I just enjoy it, you know, I enjoy the little, little how it's animated, Kuzco, he's a cool dude, I mean, he gotta, okay. he's gotta grind, he's a central thing, he's gotta grind, like, what is what are Lilo and Stitch trying to do? They're out of trouble, all the cars are in trouble, mm. See, I have Billy Emperor's New Groove here. Alan, you are right. Emperor's New Groove does win this matchup, and it's because of the, the story right here. Emperor's New Groove is just a is just a good character. Like he's stunned up and everything, and he comes around. Like it's a pretty good kids movie right there. Just also good, but it didn't it didn't do anything for me. Okay, all right. Down here we got the uh, three six matchup with Pinocchio and Alice in Wonderland. This one was tough because again, I love both movies. But in the end, I've watched Alice in Wonderland so many times. This didn't, like, beat into my brain. I know a lot of that movie just, like, you know, verbatim. But uh, Alice in Wonderland is going to go move on here for me. Uh, I'll second that. Alice in Wonderland is so much fun. Like, all these characters, you know. You got Alice who's just exploring this new area. Tweedledee, Tweedledum, you know. The so, so many fun and colorful elements. Uh, Alice in Wonderland for its for its color and its creativity. Uh, I'm going with that one. Okay, you see that is where y'all are wrong. Pinocchio. That's right. Well, you tell them. 
New Pinocchio is the original, like, Disney movie. That's that right. Is, I mean, Jimmy Cricket, that is by far probably one of my favorite characters, regardless throughout the whole Disney movie, whatever. And, like, some of the best songs, too. Got elements right. that, that combine all these other movies, all in one, just over probably one of the best movies here. Will is absolutely correct here. Alice in Wonderland was always a weird movie for me. You say color, I say weird. Never liked it. Just didn't. Nokia, though, that was a good movie. All right, so, uh, so moving on. We can move on to this little, uh, for me, Alice in Wonderland versus Peter Pan. And uh, no doubt, you gotta, you got to take Peter Pan. Absolutely. I just think, you know, I like the color green. He wore green. He's a redhead. And when I, the, the first time I went to Disney World, we were looking for the bathroom. Instead, we found Peter Pan, and he kind of looked like me, kind of like I agree with you, Peter Pan, moving on from me in that Alice in Wonderland Peter Pan matchup. Tough matchup. I love both movies. But then Peter Pan, like, it just slaps a little bit different. You know what I mean? It hits just a little bit different than Alice in Wonderland does. I, I got Kirk over Alice in Wonderland. I think Hercules is better. I don't have much to say. So Hercules First, versus Pinocchio for me, and... Hercules, always the funnest movie I've watched. So sorry, Will, I am going to have to get to Hercules on this one. But Pinocchio did make it to the second round. See, I got Pinocchio and Peter Pan here. Both probably like two two of the best movies, probably the two best in the region for me. But uh, I got to say with Pinocchio here. I respect your loyalty, Will. Um, Next game, I've got Jungle Book versus The Emperor's New Groove. And it's simple. S-I-M-P-L-E. It's simple. <laughs> Emperor's New Groove. <laughs> Emperor's right. New Groove all the way. All right, well, <laughs> I had Jungle Book and Lilo and Stitch, and then great movies, but then Jungle Book. Again, I've just watched that movie so many times. I love it so much. Memorable characters like Baloo, Bagheera, Mowgli, the elephants, you know, Shere Khan, the tiger. Pretty epic scene when Mowgli fights him and defeats him. Jungle Book's got to move on for me on that one, even though I love Lilo and Stitch. You're right. It was pretty epic. It was frozen and uh, Emperor's New Groove. And I am going to have to give this one to Emperor's New Groove because it is just timeless right there. Frozen didn't, wasn't a perfect movie, so it's going to stay back where it is. For Frozen 2 is just not good, frankly. Uh, and Frozen 1 still had its flaws. I chose the Lilo and Stitch over Frozen. It's just a better movie. It's, it's yeah, hard. I got, I got Jungle Book and Lilo and Stitch. I got Jungle Book. Mm. Alright, so for our final, I've got Peter Pan versus Emperor's New Groove. I gotta take Emperor's New Groove to the final four with me. That's all I'm saying. Turn, boys turns into a llama. We didn't even talk about Crunk, Crunk, the like bad guy that don't want to be a bad guy. Come on, can't be Not a bad guy. guy. Cr- but he's a, like Crunk's a fantastic he's, character. He's, he's Yzma, Yzma, Yzma. Oh, oh Crunk, yeah. little scaly, scaly purple girl. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the lever, Crunk. <laughs> that's 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 comedy right there. Anytime he pulls the lever, well, it's always I got Hercule. He's an Emperor's New Groove on the last one. I mean, I'm going to have to say Hercules beats Emperor's New Groove, even even taking into consideration Kronk and his innocence, along with the squirrel. So, yeah, Hercules for me. Yeah, so on this one, I had uh, Jungle Book and Peter Pan. I mean, Jungle Book just sticks with me for some reason. I love both these movies. With all my heart, they're fantastic, but Jungle Book just hits a little bit different for me. I don't know what it is about it. I love the characters, love the music, the storylines are great. Jungle Book to the final four. I got Pinocchio and Jungle Book, and uh, do y'all know the uh, Disney theme music? You know, oh, it's from Pinocchio, isn't it? Yeah, it's from Pinocchio. Yeah, yeah what movie is that from again? Yeah, uh, Pinocchio. It's from Pinocchio. Pinocchio. Yeah. That's a good point. That's a good point. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
I have Lilo and Stitch in my Final Four for Hercules. Hercules is really fun, but Lilo and Stitch just is way more deep. It hits me, man. Interesting. All right, so in my first Final Four matchup, I have Mulan and Lion King. I mean, I have just, that as well. Just what a fantastic matchup. What else can we say? I mean, just two fantastic movies. You know, memorable characters, memorable storylines. Some of the funniest characters in there. But in the end, Lion King takes the cake on this one. Lion King going to the national championship. You know, love Mulan. I just don't. But Chase, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to disagree with you on that. You know, I feel like Mulan. Uh, Somewhat ahead of its time with the whole women empowerment thing, you know, Absolutely. without being forced down our throats. Um, you know, she's pretty, she's pretty kick butt though. Um, she was like top of her like army class, and they thought she was the dude. So just, to, just to prove something. And come on, make a man out of you is a a masterpiece of a song. Very good song. I got to take a lot the national yes. championship. Yeah, all those elements, Ed and Mushu, and then like at the beginning where they where they're dishonoring Mulan's father, and she goes to fight for him. That's just an amazing movie right there. Mulan to the Natty. Mm-hmm. I have Little Mermaid and Lion King. Uh, I chose Lion King. I just think it's a little better, but pretty similar as far as both musicals. Uh, pretty classic Disney movies, but I, I think Lion King's uh, a little bit better. Chris, what do you have? I don't remember what I picked over Lion King, but I remember that I did not be Lion King. You had uh, you know, Lady and the Tramp, maybe? No, that was oh, the same. Robin, yeah, you had Robin Hood. Yeah, Robin, Robin, Hood, Hood. Robin Hood versus Little Mermaid. I'm sorry, but Robin Hood does kind of Little Mermaid. Robin Hood is one of the best Disney movies that they've made. You guys need to go back and listen to the soundtrack. Did they not steal that story, though? But Robin Hood was already a story. Like, they they, they look you stole that story, bro. I didn't steal it. They just made it kid-friendly. A lot of these stories are still in there. Alan, if you're going to be like that. All right, listen to Chris. Lion King was stolen. You kidding me? It's just Hamlet. That really happened, and they just stole it. Yeah, a lot of these are just like older tales, but with animals or princesses. Right, uh, I enjoy it either way. All right, so in the second half, I got Monsters Inc. versus Ember's New Groove. And I know I love Ember's New Groove, but I got a I got a Pixar shaped hole in my heart. You know that lamp just just bumping down the heart. I love it. I got to go with Monsters Inc. to the final. All right, I got Wally versus Hercules and. Wally definitely takes it. Pixar all the way. All right, I had uh, Toy Story and Jungle Book in mind, and again, that Toy Story franchise consistently good throughout. Toy Story over Jungle Book, even though I love Jungle Book. Toy Story the national championship. I have Up and uh, Lilo and Stitch. To me, they they both uh, pack an emotional punch, but to me, Up is just a little stronger and a little bit better. And I, I think I enjoy my time more when I watch Up than when I watch Lilo and Stitch, so I'm going to have to go with Up. I've got Wally and Pinocchio here. This is easily the hardest pick I've made, but uh, I've got to go with Wally. I just think overall, better better story, better movie. I'm really the only, thing, only thing Pinocchio has over it is like the song, but I mean, that's it. I'm really excited to see Will's national championship. I really all right, so before we go champion, if I might ask, if, if you could put one movie in this bracket that you think you would go all the way with, Chris, you've mentioned Moana. Um, Moana would win this bracket, like, no doubt, all of us, it would win. Uh, I've never seen mm-hmm. Moana, so I don't know. Well, you need to but get, you need need to watch it. it. Let yeah. me tell you about the Disney Channel original movie classic that is Eddie's Million Dollar Cook-Off, all right? <laughs> It's got Bobby Flay in it. <laughs> I love that. Yes, I love it. No, I love it. It's fantastic. Because Eddie's Million Dollar Cook-Off, when it comes to the Disney Channel original movies, you know, it's got the sports. It's got some dude or girl trying to fit in with something that their gender usually doesn't do. They got the fight against their family. So are you saying it's support for everybody? Are you saying that's your winner other than this winner that we're about to pick? My winner. I just love it. 
made me stop watching it because of the car. I was enjoying my ride on the interstate, and we pull off the side of the road. Made me get out, get out of the car. I just wanted to watch Eddie's Million Dollar Cook Off. That's it. Simple. Love that movie. Y'all got any movies like that? Just Moana, man. Um, uh, just Moana. I mean, I, w- I will say I have not seen Moana, but I, I know Moana probably did uh, service my ear. All of the princess you, reasons. You and I go to watch it right now. I do. Yeah. I meant to watch it, but oh, I didn't. Okay. I think Moana's good, but like, for some reason, Lemonade Mouth really slapped with me whenever I was younger. Like the Disney Channel original movie, it really slapped with me. That's a that's a fire movie. It's a great movie. Like if it was in this bracket, if we had like a an originals region of the bracket, that would probably win for me to go to the final four at the very least, and it may win at all. So they they have some good music in Lemonade Mouth. Let me tell you. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. What about you, Will? Have you seen any other movies? Uh, yeah, no, not really. <laughs> My top three is pretty sad. I mean, Lion King is the only one in my top four that I probably trade out. I would probably trade that out for Monsters Inc. and Big Things. All right. Okay, so let's look at our natties real quick, guys. All right, so I'm going to start off with mine. Lion King and Toy Story, a fantastic matchup. The Toy Story franchise made one mistake, though. At the very end, Woody left his gang for a girl like a simp. Okay? Woody, I respected that man up until the very end, but he is a simp. I still love him. He's a great character. But Lion King, it just goes over the top. It was, I would say, nearly flawless throughout. It was a fantastic story, fantastic songs, fantastic characters. Very memorable. Lion King wins it all. If Woody would stay with his what game, about though, Lion King like two and a half though. Aren't those a thing? Anyone seen those? Yeah, those are pretty good. I haven't watched those in a while, but they're still pretty good. But uh, all right. here's the deal: if Woody would stay with his gang and both people would come with him, then Toy Story might have won this for me. But just the fact so, that he left his gang was ridiculous. Chris, you look good. Oh, nice looking, Chris. Thank you. Um, Wally and Robin Hood was my matchup, and. This is quite tough, and I know Will would want me to pick Wally, but I'm gonna have to go with Robin Hood. It is a classic. I it just beats it out for me. Interesting. All right, I got I got Wally and Mulan. As good of a movie as Mulan is, Wally is just like the perfect movie. It's got everything you want. It's got like a really exactly. good plot. You learn a lesson along the way. It's got some good, funny characters, some funny scenes, and it has that like hard wrenching ending too. It's if like, I didn't pick it, I'm glad. I'm glad you picked it. Wally, easy for me here. Wow. Sam, you got anything? Uh, I have Lion King versus Up, and Lion King takes the cake because it is amazing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And. Wow. It's just better. But Up, Up is a good movie. A lot of these movies are really good movies. Even a lot the Lost first round. Uh, uh, but I think Lion King is the best movie on this bracket. Yeah. That's interesting. Um, All right, but, but I got a question real quick. How do I put that face on me? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you like to tap, and then yeah. pops up. You got effects, yeah. effects, okay, and you hit the little monkey. Pull a monkey, wait. Do you not see? Oh, wait, what kind of, what kind of iPhone do you have? Uh, eight. I have the thing. Oh, you don't, you can't don't. do it. Oh, I can't do it? Oh. It says, it's, it says an emoji, but you don't have it. Oh, that's, that's sad. I don't know. All right, all right. All right, well, guys. I got Mulan and Monsters, Inc. And I had to go with Monsters, Inc. I just enjoy it too much to let it lose to Mulan. It sounds like I Mulan. Sounds like Mulan didn't win at all, so here's the thing. It's tough. I think I think I think we all did. You had Lion, Lion King as a pass. If did not Chase, what did you have? Well I had a uh, Lion King and Toy Story in the Natty. And you had Toy Story win it. So four out of the five people here picked pick our movie. So no, I think me and Chase both chose I, I Lion went Lion, King. Yeah, I went Lion King. Put, oh, you I did? put Robin Hood. What yeah. you mean, boy? What the heck? All right, never mind. I thought I thought we were gonna like uh, affirm no, no. Pixar's supreme reign. No, hold, so I, I think region for sure. I, I do agree. A Pixar I think might be the greatest edition Disney's ever made. Like even better than Lucasfilm. Even though Star Wars is fantastic, but, I mean overall, Pixar is so consistently great with their movies that like it may be the best edition Disney's ever made. 
It's true. All right, I guys. love all the movies in the Pixar region. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, this was a fantastic segment. We'll try to get this out to everybody later, but uh, enjoy talking with you guys tonight. We'll have another bracket soon, maybe next week, week or two, something like that. But you guys have fun. Enjoy quarantine. I'll see you later, gentlemen.